Daily Broadside, day 367. To this day, anytime I go into a hotel room that I've just checked into or just entered, I immediately jump on one of the beds and flip, do a flip to the other bed. I don't know why, it's just an immature thing I've done since birth and we'll continue doing it. Um, and that's exactly what Aretha Franklin's chest reminds me of. It's like two huge beds in a hotel room. Of course, she's dead, but her later years were not kind to her weight. And I recently heard a video of her critiquing people like Adele, Taylor Swift, Alicia Keys, all of which have uh, myriad amounts of talent and can sing their balls off, specifically the uh, Adele and Alicia. Not to mention they're all very attractive and thin. There's a lot for her to be uh, jealous of, and it seems to me that she was just throwing a bunch of shade, uh, as the kids would say, on those three very talented young ladies. I say young, they're probably in their 30s. Um, but it, I, I think that, from my research, that Aretha, the only thing she ever wrote that was a hit was Think. And that's a stupid, stupid song. You should think about how dumb that song is, you know? Here's three things you'll never hear me say. No, I'm not carrying a weapon. Uh, do you, would you like to hear my recipe for Borg? Where in the hell did I put my visor? Ah, uh, I was talking to a girl last week, I think it was, when we were discussing the fact that her daughter, who's 20, uh, had bought her a pair of um, those stretchy leggy pants that like intentionally ride up the crack of your ass to show off your your bootay. And she was um, basically disgusted in the sense that she was not prepared to wear those in public. She's like, I'm not wearing these in public. I'm like, why not? She's like, I would wear them to the gym. That's about it. I said, gym, grocery store, it's all the same. So this morphed into uh, a social experiment that we conducted. I said, I tell you what. I said, let's go to the grocery store and we'll see what happens. So we go to the grocery store a day or so later and uh, she walks in, I walk in separate from her and I'm shopping near her and I'm just watching onlookers, you know, that are watching her. And I counted two women that rolled their eyes. <laughs> ah, bitches be jealous. And uh, six guys that took several looks um, to uh, go back and forth, craning their neck to and fro to see what was the matter when they threw open the sash. Okay, so I don't know what that proved other than the fact that I was right and it, everything happened that I thought would happen, and that's okay. Um, but ladies, just wear the pants. It's all good, okay? It's all good. You're, you're only gonna disappoint other women, and who cares about that, you know? I bet Denny's waitresses absolutely hate that country Denny song, when people probably sing it, quote it, say it, work it into their order, anything like that. I'll have a Oreo Sunday or whatever. I don't even know what the words are. But they've got to go back to the uh, kitchen and, and um, just stab a bag of rice with a knife or something to let off some steam, you know? And I'm not that impressed with the, uh, the ski jump, you know? I'm talking about the ski jumper that come down a huge hill and, uh, and then take off and, and land lower. I'm impressed with like hot dog skiers, the ones that, you know, go up this huge ramp, do all these flips and stuff. There's a little danger in, in, in that. But the only danger in the ski jump was the first guy who did it, which is not unlike the guy that said, yeah, I'll do the first LASIK surgery. You can cut open my cornea and peel back a layer and do all this other crap with lasers and my eyeballs. That dude had balls of steel, much like the first person that said, yeah, strap these pieces of fiberglass to my feet and let's go down this, you know, 100 foot, 100 yard chute, whatever it is. But I gotta tell you, it doesn't look that difficult. And because when you look at it, they're only like two feet off the ground by the time they land because they've contoured the jump, the landing area, to be even with the trajectory of the jumper. So I'm not impressed. Long jump skiers or whatever that sport's called. If y'all also double in the hot dog, I'll be severely impressed. But otherwise, ain't nothing to it.